I want to begin tonight by, uh, well, just saying something that I learned from the vice president. Hello, my name is Mike, and I identify as a cisgender, heterosexual, white male, <laughs> which until a couple of years ago, I didn't realize I needed to explain. <laughs> and my pronouns are he, him, and ask me again, and I'll split your face in four pieces. That's who I am. <laughs> gently, gently, of course. You know, I concluded that I needed to bring such clarity to my identity after watching the sitting vice president introduce herself. I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. Huh. And by the way, I'm wearing a brown jacket, tan pants, and a fabulous blue tie. <laughs> now, I must admit that the sheer nonsense of simply identifying as something and pretending that declaring it was in fact wearing it, that was something that I considered absurd until recently. I would hear about this biological male who was a mediocre college swimmer he put on a women's bathing suit, and suddenly he became a world-class champion women's swimmer. <laughs> and then there was the male inmate in a New Jersey prison who decided that he really was a woman, although he really wasn't. But he demanded to be placed in the women's prison, moved from the men's prison. And the geniuses who run the New Jersey prison said, well, sure, if you say you're a woman, that's good enough for us. And they transferred the son of a gun, this newly minted woman, complete with all his still very male equipment, to the women's prison. And lo and behold, he achieved biological and scientific breakthroughs because in his new identity as a woman, she impregnated two real female inmates. <laughs> I mean, who could have ever seen that coming, huh? Maybe instead of fighting this insanity and calling it out as nutty as a payday candy bar, I ought to just go with it and get with the program. Oh, sure, I've said that if someone had told me and my classmates back in high school that all we had to do was tell the coach after gym class that we were feeling kind of feminine <laughs> and we probably needed to shower with the girls. <laughs> Folks, if we could have done that, I promise you every guy in my high school would have been girls for at least part of the day. <laughs> next time... <clears throat> next time I need a good parking place, I'm just going to identify as a disabled person and use the parking space for handicapped people. And if I need a contract that gives preference to a racial minority, i got to figure it out. I'll identify as a person of color any color. I might even identify as a multicolored, like, you know, a rainbow person. <laughs> that ought to up my chances of getting the contract, right? <laughs> I've told my wife next time she sees a long line of women waiting to get in the ladies' room while there is no line for the men's restroom, all she's got to do is just declare herself a man and walk right in there. There you go. <laughs> I'm wondering how far maybe I can go in this new identity business. I'm really hungry. Can I identify as a starving person and get my food first at McDonald's no matter how many people are in front of me? And can I identify as a billionaire? I just help myself to a private Falcon jet and fly where I need to go. Maybe I can identify as a really skinny person and start wearing a size 28 belt. <laughs> the audience thought that was funnier than I did. I really... <laughs> Mean bunch of people out here is what we got. <laughs> and why can't I just identify as a five-year-old kid and get in the movies for free if accompanied by an adult? So maybe I'm the one who's been all wrong about a name-it-and-claim-it gender identity. Instead of saying that it's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs crazy, maybe I ought to just take full advantage of the new world order and start enjoying living the dream of merely dreaming my life. I just wish I'd known about this when I was six years old. Because instead of just pretending to be an astronaut, a policeman, a doctor, or a circus performer, 
I really could have been all those things and more. So if you aren't satisfied with the way God made you, just make it up as you go. It is the happening thing. That's for sure. <laughs>